So our rebalance method has to check the heights of the left child and the right child, figure out which one is greater than one, and go down the tree and figure out if we need to do a left rotation, right rotation, or a left right, left right or a right left rotation, okay? In our check balance method, we just say, is the, the difference in height greater than or less than one? Uh, greater, than mi greater than one or less than minus one. In our rebalance method, we actually have to figure out which side is imbalanced and where the imbalance lies. Is it in my left child's left subtree, my left child's right subtree, and so on. So let's take a look at that. We start with our rebalance method. Here's rebalance. We're going to take a node. And we're going to look at the height of the subtrees. If height of node.left minus height node dot right is greater than one. That means our left subtree is much longer than our right subtree. So we can check our left child's left subtree and our left child's right subtree and figure out where the, the imbalance has occurred. So we can say if height of node dot left dot left is greater than height of node left dot right. So if it's if the node left child's left subtree is bigger than the node's left child's right subtree then we need to do a right rotation. So node is right rotate on node. And this is exactly the same rotation method that we've used before in our trees. Exactly the same. If that's not true, then the left child's right subtree is bigger than the left child's left subtree, and so we need to do a left-right rotate. So otherwise, node is equal to left, right, rotate of node. So this is our check balance method working on the left subtree of, of the node. If node.left is smaller than node.right, then we need to do the same thing, but on the right subtree. Okay? And so it's going to be exactly the same code, except instead of node.left.left, it'll be node.right.left. Instead of node.left.right, it'll be node.right.left. Sorry, node.right.right. And so you do the same block of code here, where you balance the right subtree of the node that we've been given. After our rebalancing, don't forget that we may need to readjust the root. So we need to say if node.parent is null, then we're at the root. And so we want to reset our root pointer, which is a globally scoped pointer. So then we say root is equal to node.
and then we can get out of there. So we've seen how, for an AVR tree, how to create a node object, how to add something to the node object, and here, how to balance the tree.